Southern California, and there are lots of species of shark that inhabit this area, such as thresher sharks, white sharks, short fin mako sharks, um, seven gill sharks, and even dogfish. But there's one shark that you can see pretty commonly, and that is the leopard shark. Now, while some sharks are can, can be aggressive or harmful to humans, the leopard shark is completely docile and is not harmful towards humans. So, how about we take a look and see if we can find some? These beautiful creatures are named for the striking saddle markings on their dorsal region. These black spots against their silver bodies make them easy to identify in the water. Leopard sharks are primarily found close to the bottom where the majority of their food source comes from. They do have a large supply of oils in their livers that aids in their buoyancy. The average adult leopard shark weighs in at only about 40 pounds and grows to be roughly 3 to 7 feet long with the females usually being a tad longer than the males. Unlike you and I, sharks don't have bones. Instead, their bodies are structurally designed to be supported with cartilage, the same substance that makes up our ears and nose. By having cartilage, sharks are able to be more flexible, which helps with making sharp turns to catch prey. Leopard sharks have multiple rows of sharp teeth, which assist them in catching their prey. Their diet consists of clams, fish, crabs, small sharks, stingrays, shrimp, and worms. You'll almost always see leopard sharks swimming near the sand or the sea floor. One of the main reasons they stay near the bottom is because almost all of the seafood they eat lives on the sea floor. When catching prey, not only do they use their teeth to catch food, but they'll also use their mouths to suction the prey into their mouths. By opening their mouth really quickly, it sucks in the surrounding water and whatever else happens to be there, whether that's a fish, shrimp, or even the siphon from a clam. Leopard sharks have consumed worms and clam siphons with no teeth marks. This means they suck their food without even using their teeth at all. That was awesome. So you can see there are lots of leopard sharks around here. And if you're ever in the area, this is a great thing to see. The leopard sharks come here every fall. So September and October and even late August are great times of the year to come see these leopard sharks. Now let's take a bird's eye view of the area. Here you are looking at the shores of La Jolla in Southern California. And as I mentioned before, this is the best place in San Diego to snorkel with the leopard sharks. Now, let's look down towards the water to see if we can spot some sharks. Alright guys, keep your eyes peeled. See if you can see anything. Oh, there we go! Ah, oh, it's beautiful. By having this aerial footage, you're able to see just how graceful these sharks really are when they're swimming. And you probably notice that these sharks really aren't that far from shore. They're right before the waves are breaking, and they're in pretty shallow water, so they're very easy to spot if you're swimming. You don't have to go out very far to see these sharks. When foraging for their next meal, sharks will use all the same senses we would, but sharks have an additional sense, which allows them to detect pressure changes in the water. This brilliant design allows sharks to find prey when the water is rough and murky. In fact, leopard sharks seem to be extremely active at night when the water is dark. Scientists have noticed that most of the leopard sharks that come to the warm, shallow waters in La Jolla are pregnant females. Leopard sharks have also been observed swimming near power plants, which emit heat into the water. So they do prefer swimming in warmer waters occasionally. The leopard shark lives to be about 20 to 30 years old, 
with the females maturing sexually around the age of 10. Pregnant females will carry their fertilized eggs for about 10 to 12 months before giving birth. Leopard sharks are ovoviviparous, meaning their eggs hatch while still inside the female. Then the females will give birth to live offspring. Each female will produce anywhere from 7 to 37 babies, which are called pups. When the pups are born, they're around 8 to 9 inches long. Direct your attention to the right hand side of the screen. There you see a swimmer heading out from the beach, and you can see the sharks that are directly in front of him. Now most likely he doesn't see the sharks, but we can see him pretty well just because of the aerial view that we have. But since these sharks hover close to the bottom, they are hard to see when you're actually in the water sometimes. And yep, I don't know about you, but what it looked like for me, he didn't even see the shark that was just a few feet away from him. Leopard sharks commonly are found in kelp forests, and so that's why La Jolla Cove is a great place for the leopard sharks, because they can come into the warm, sandy areas, as well as go out in the kelp forest just offshore. Not only in San Diego, but in general, leopard sharks often stay near shore in shallower waters. They are distributed all the way up to Oregon and Northern California, and as far south as Mexico. Leopard sharks often form into larger groups called schools. They will even form larger schools mixing with other species like horn sharks, smooth hounds, or spiny dogfish. Apart from fishing, their predators are mainly larger sharks, such as white sharks and semigills. Wow, I'd say that was a success. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about the leopard sharks.